So instead of using a machine with a 25 foot torch, we put a 25 foot gas hose in here so our tank can be down here. Our propulse with the 8 foot gun is up there and we can reach two or three uprights without relocating the machine. Thanks, thankfully the machine only weighs 42 pounds and is really portable. It can be put directly next to your work. So amongst all these programs on here, we pick aluminum 4043 035 wire diameter pulse. The material thickness here um, and the display reads just under 3 16 The material thickness on aluminum varies by the temperature of the base metal. As the material heats up, um, those numbers are different than on cold material. 152 amps, we found this a good setting for us to weld quarter inch aluminum. Um, we use the 4T trigger, which will give us the hot start trigger controlled. On the first pull and hold, 35% more power than selected to eliminate the cold starts. Then it welds at the selected setting until we pull and hold the trigger again, it goes into slope down and fills the crater. So now that we just ran out of 4043 wire, we switched it over to 5356, which has magnesium in it. You'll see the flame being green, the, the shadows reflecting off the wall, the arc reflecting off the wall, it's gonna be green. Um, 5356 wire runs a lot cooler. Um, it needs more heat to flow nice. It doesn't have the silicone in it like the 4043 does. It helps promote the flow. It gives it more strength and it is stiffer wire, it has better feedability. We got to do this side of the upright here with just the regular pulse. The other side will do the pulse on pulse, the MIG like TIG look. So to show you guys the difference on what the machine does. So the wire is a little bit more sooty. Right now it turned out a lot shinier than before because the material is already preheated but all the soot and all the black typically wire brushes right off and now we'll go to the other side and do a pulse on pulse. <laughs> 